Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs of Strategic Cost and Performance Management. I am CA Anunjalota. We all try a level best in each video to give you some knowledge that you all can carry forward for your entire life. And this subject is all about business, something that you all read every day, something that you all encounter every day. So if you try to think this subject in that manner, it is not going to be that difficult. You all know that your self-paced paper is all about one thing that is MCQs and that's what we are trying to be doing from day one and that is right from the beginning we are trying to cover all the concepts but through the medium of MCQs. That's what I'm trying to imbibe in you like you know that everything that is there okay should be covered up through the route of MCQs. Till now we have launched around 140 to 150 videos. And all the videos I've tried to be doing one thing, give you as much practical examples as possible. That's what I'm trying to be doing even today. Better to be an employer than an employee. Better to be taking risk, more risk and getting more returns. Everything is uncertain, even job is uncertain. So why not? Let's try to be doing business. And before you learn business, okay, before you do business, better to be learning few things about business. That is whatever this chapter is also all about. It's all about emerging businesses. Okay, there was a taxi kind of a business that was there. Okay, individual people. Then few companies came like Meru. I hope you all know that. Then started new age of businesses like Ola, Uber, up and so on. What these guys did. Okay, they all became aggregators. Try to be thinking a company like Airbnb. You might have heard of. Okay, it does not own any property. It's one of the largest companies in the world of rentals. Okay. So businesses are changing so much. Who would have thought in 1992 and in the year 2000, Facebook one day will become so big. Google will start to take over our lives wherever you go. So Google follows. If you keep your location on, you can see last one year also where you have visited. Okay, it'll show you each and everything. It'll ask you for the rating up and so on. How much amount of data these guys are generating like, you know, from an individual like us and how many individuals are there? Before I start off with today's video, just two small things. First, you want to be enrolling for my complete course. See the link below and uh, join my telegram channel in the group for the regular updates. Let's start it off for today. Which of the following is not true about hyper competition? Okay. I'll start it off over here only directly. Okay. So which one of them is not true about hyper competition? Now, hyper competition, first of all, is all about what? It, uh, hyper competition is when the competition becomes so fierce that every company has to keep on launching something new, something new in order to be getting some business. You have to launch series of short term advantages. In case you're not going to be doing that, then it will not be successful. <clears throat> it could be any industry like say phone industry. It could be say car industry today. It could be a ball pen uh, industry. Everywhere competition has become so stiff, but every competition might not be called as a hyper competition. Hyper competition is like, you know, a place whereby every advantage uh, gained is a very short term advantage because your competitors will match it. In fact, they might start to be uh, putting or uh, having more advantage in their business as compared to yours, then you will have to step in and create more advantages. So therefore, there are temporary advantages that you will have to keep on creating for yourself. Okay, series of short term advantages in order to be surviving every phone company when whenever they all launch a new phone, they try to show something for sure that this was not there in the other phones. But moment those guys will be launching new companies, the other competitors will also start to be doing that popular examples that i have given a uh, fingerprint sensor that was launched by apple first okay when they launched in iphone 5 it was immediately copied by samsung and other people then they all launched the retina scan also that was also copied by the other people okay then many other companies they launched they uh, started to launch uh, 102 megapixel up and so on okay so every company wants some advantage for sure okay so which of them is not true about the hype, uh, hyper competition okay so what is not true first Comparative advantage is permanent with focus on sustaining value creation. Absolutely not. Every advantage that you gain is going to be temporary. Example, I will tell you when Tata Motors launched its first electric car. Okay, try to be thinking 
that at that time we might have thought no other company will come out with today every company has a ev car every company except might be say maruti okay but almost every other company has an electric version of their cars okay so nothing is permanent okay suppose now so tata motors starts to be launching like you know uh, those cars which can run without the driver also like in america like in china up and so on the robo taxis as we all call it okay once they start to be making somebody can be thinking no other car company will be able to do that we think so it is not like that okay other players are also there in the business okay they know how to be creating it okay so first one it is not permanent so first one is not true second weak bargaining power of the buyers in the market no it is not weak bargaining power it's strong bargaining power see if there are lot of sellers trying to occupy a share of the market okay automatically new players know they don't have much amount of choice even the other players the new players as i was saying like you know they will also keep on introducing the products okay with better features so a person launches a product competitors launch a better product this guy will again be launching a better product all these people are fighting a war over here and we as customers our our bargaining power will start to be increasing because i went to this guy and i told your product does not have this feature that this guy has so please give me discount okay so automatically bargaining power of the buyers becomes very high so first okay first is not true second is also not true third low entry barriers allowing new players to enter and challenge existing companies now this is one point that you all should remember usually hyper competitive markets okay are low entry barriers means like you know that numerous people can be coming into the segment okay like if you all think around say 10 to 12 years ago okay uh, you had apple you had samsung you had lg okay lg was a big player in the world okay in the world of phones but then they did not launch anything new and then 2022 i guess they all told that we are closing down our phone segment there was sony also that was very famous yaar okay they also closed away there was nokia that closed away there was blackberry that closed away okay but then if these people exited there are lot of new players that came up oppo vivo oneplus there are so many companies that are there uh, mi up and so on why because there are low entry barriers low entry barriers means people can come into the market competition can come into the market at any moment of time okay so uh point number 3 is a correct point okay new players keep on coming because there are lesser entry to barriers okay so third one is correct okay one is wrong second is wrong third is true fourth strategic maneuvers occur in a structured and gradual manner honestly in case of hyper competition nothing happens in a gradual manner it all happens in a ad hoc manner okay competitor launched a product now you cannot keep on waiting and do your normal things and try to launch your new product after one year okay by that one year you will also be wiped out from the market yaar so in case of hyper competition nothing happens in a gradual manner everything is super fast everything is a uh, ad hoc kind of a thing also okay so therefore all the strategic moves suppose like you know tomorrow apple launches a fold phone okay now samsung then will be starting to think yaar we had fold phones apple has also launched what do we do now so therefore they might launch a slide phone i don't know you all have seen that kind of a concept phone by samsung or not it is kind of a phone come a tablet so therefore if you hold it like this it is a normal phone okay but there is a button over here if you press that this this phone itself becomes big over here it is not openable that is it's not a fold phone but then like you know it is called as a slide phone so it doesn't happen in a gradual manner okay you will have to try to evolve super fast okay so one is wrong second is also wrong fourth is also wrong so i'll have to just pick up the correct answer yaar so 1 2 and 4 i guess yeah 1 2 and 4 should be the correct answer fourth one here i thought i'll show you all the brands of phones that are there okay so yeah one of the phones also is a company called as wave i don't know you all know or not but it's, it's a chinese company it was banned by america to operate in america and hence it was direction to google that stop to give them android systems okay if there was some other company they would have got disheartened wave took that to develop their own operating system that is called as harmony operating system and believe it or not because i've seen it okay 
नाउ दर इज अ सेकेंड मोस्ट यूज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन द वर्ल्ड आफ्टर एंड्रॉइड इट defeated iOS. iOS is how many years old? You all know that, okay? But then uh, Huawei defeated iOS in approximately two years only. Okay, that is like you know what hyper competition can be doing also. So answer should be one, two, and four. Yeah, that should be the correct answer. That's it from my side for today. I hope that you are learning something new in every video with me. That is very important. And uh, please do give your feedbacks through the comments over here. How you are liking my videos? Okay, are my efforts in the right direction? And if you really think that I'm trying to do a good job, okay, and I can be doing better, okay, please spread these videos to the students. who have to still give scpm in future it goes a long way in trying to be ensuring that like you know our efforts are being appreciated and second the students like you know they all get good concepts here that is very important this playlist by the way is like you know this uh, qr code will take you to a playlist that has every possible video that we all have put so far it will also include every video of scpm that we will be coming out with in future share it with whomsoever you think will require it i'll see you all in the next lecture till then smile bye take care